what is natural deodorant and does it even work? So I started looking into natural deodorant for a couple of reasons. The first one is animal testing. Almost all major deodorants are either tested on animals or owned by a company who tests on animals. That means that Nivea, Simple, Dove, Impulse, L'Oreal and Shaw are all out. And then almost all of the deodorants that don't test on animals and aren't owned by companies who test on animals are packaged in plastic. Odeban, Dr. Organic, Pit Rock, etc. So I am just trying to stop the stench without testing on animals and without using plastic. I ended up stumbling across natural deodorant and through researching it, I actually learned so much about how pits work. So when we sweat, the water that comes out is completely odorless. If you think about the sweat on your face or under your boobs, <laughs> I don't know why that's the second place I went to. Under our armpits, we have loads of bacteria that break down that water and that is what creates the smell. So to deal with this, popular antiperspirants contain chemical scents, antimicrobial agents that kill off the bacteria and aluminium or aluminium for the Americans which blocks off the sweat glands. However, there was an email chain that went around in the 90s scaring people, saying that aluminium was linked to dementia and to breast cancer. And even though no scientific studies have been able to back up those email chains, people still believed it. And because people were scared of aluminium, the natural deodorant industry was born, which is amazing for me because it is genuinely a great way to find plastic-free, not tested on animals, vegan and palm oil-free deodorants but it can be so anti-science. So for starters, calling it natural. I get that it's sort of anti-aluminium and people are scared of aluminium, but aluminium is a naturally occurring chemical. It's the third most common chemical in the Earth's crust. It's natural. And the other thing is that when I was on the hunt for all these deodorants, I got so annoyed by all the pseudoscience in the descriptions. For example, this one claims that it has no chemicals but then it lists the ingredients of coconut oil, which is made up all of these chemicals, and shea butter, which is made up all of these chemicals. I'm not gonna go through the whole ingredients list, but the point is we shouldn't be scared of the word chemical. It doesn't mean bad and it doesn't mean unnatural. Chemicals are everywhere. We are made of chemicals. It's nothing to be scared of. And then all of these deodorants claimed that they would be able to remove toxins from my armpits. I kind of understand where they're coming from because these are deodorants, they're not antiperspirants, and I'm still gonna sweat. That's fine. What isn't fine is that they're lying about sweating out toxins. I think the thing that annoys me the most is that this isn't a gray area. The whole scientific community agrees on how our detoxification system works, and it doesn't involve our armpits. Toxins primarily leave our body through feces and urine. And what I don't understand is how these deodorants are gonna absorb or help me release pee and poo. <laughs> it's, it's nonsense, it doesn't mean anything. The internet is right there. There is no excuse to be making false claims about how the body works to sell more deodorant. And it's not just the sellers who are talking about this whole armpit detoxing thing. So I was trying to find out more about it and I searched natural deodorant detoxing. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> It was just loads of unqualified bloggers with loads of affiliate links trying to sell me the idea that when you switch to natural deodorant, your body smells worse and you need to detox your armpits to get rid of it. So for example, this one was telling me to put a face mask on my armpits daily. Another one telling me that the detox period is caused by sweat glands overcompensating for being plugged up for so long. And then this one is the exact same article, but with more kookiness and danger added in. Armpits are both the body's entry and exit points. It's funny, but it's not true. <laughs> Armpit detox. If you simply ditch the chemical stuff and embrace homemade or natural deodorant, you are likely to experience some of the following. Armpit rashes with itching and red bumps. Excessive sweat. Sweat that has a very potent odor. Although uncomfortable, these incidents are the body's adjustment reactions. Similar to body detox, things get worse before they start improving and showing positive effects. Still, it puts many people off and they don't persevere. So if you perform an armpit detox first, you'll shorten the transition period and minimize the discomfort as well as pull out some of the nasty toxins. None of this makes sense. <laughs> like none of it makes 
scientific sense. Number one, unless you're using nothing at all, you are still using chemicals. Number two, detoxing is a myth. I mean, your body does naturally detox, but in terms of you being able to significantly improve that or pretending like it isn't working, but you need to do something to get that system working, it's a complete myth. Unless your kidneys are failing. Call an ambulance, you're in danger. <laughs> And then third, this whole idea of needing to pull these toxins out is just weird. Like it's unscientific, but it's also weird. But the dangerous part is telling people to ignore symptoms. Actually, not just ignore the symptoms, but persevere with what you're doing. Oh my God, it's like common sense 101. If you're doing something that is creating a rash or itchiness or red bumps, Stop doing that thing and go to your doctor. I guarantee they are not gonna say to put a face mask on your armpits every day. It's not a thing. <laughs> so what's the truth at the bottom of all of this? Do natural deodorants even work? And why do people report smelling so much worse? In theory, they should work, but I cannot find any scientific evidence. This is all anecdotal. So basically they definitely won't work as well. The antiperspirant deodorants have the three methods of attack the aluminium, the chemical scents, and the antibacterial properties. Natural deodorants have sort of one and a half. They have the antibacterial properties, and then some have added scents. But these are never gonna be as strong or as long lasting as the synthetic chemical scents. And while there is plenty of evidence proving that detoxing is a myth, people smelling a bit worse when they use natural deodorant isn't a huge concern for the scientific community, so no one's really looking into it. There aren't any studies or there's not much on it. I did find one small study though, and basically there, I'll link to it below if you wanna read it, it is really interesting. They're basically explaining that your armpits are a whole ecosystem of loads of different types of bacteria, and some of them create different smells. So actinobacteria, are really stinky. It's like that proper classic BO smell. And their study found that using antiperspirants leads to an increase in that properly stinky bacteria. So their theory is that maybe the aluminium kills off the less smelly bacteria, allowing that properly stinky bacteria to dominate. They also found that deodorants without antiperspirant lead to a slight decrease in the properly stinky bacteria. So in theory, when you come off the super hardcore aluminium deodorant, that stinky bacteria is at an all time high and it could take time for your little armpit ecosystem to readjust and let that less smelly bacteria dominate. I did find one other thing where a specialist was saying that we live in a society where BO is so rare, it's basically taboo. So when we do smell it, we're super sensitive to it, especially smelling it on ourselves. So yeah, that is everything I learned about natural deodorant. It's a bit tarnished by pseudoscience, of bullshit to dodge but it is still a really nice way to avoid plastic and avoid testing on animals and go vegan and avoid palm oil but basically it doesn't have a massive scientific backing proving that it either works or doesn't work so we're sort of in the beginner cowboy days you've just got to test it for yourself oh and another thing is that everybody has their own little armpit culture and all of these deodorants sort of target different bacteria. So one deodorant that works for you might not work for your friend and vice versa. We really do just have to try all of them. And if you buy one and it really doesn't work out for you, I know this sounds gross and some people might not like it, but there are a lot of zero waste communities that don't mind a bit of second hand deodorant. Just try listing it. Maybe not on like Facebook marketplace because people might be like, ew, use deodorant, what's wrong with you? But zero waste groups, So a couple of options are the salt stick, you can get deodorant sticks, you can get deodorant bars, you can get deodorant creams, which are normally homemade. You can make your own at home. You can use lime or apple cider vinegar, or I'm sure there are a host of other things. And basically all of these have antibacterial properties. So the salt, the lime, the apple cider vinegar all kill the bacteria. And then the creams and the sticks, and if you choose to with your own homemade stuff, will usually have essential oils or some sort of scent. So should the antibacterial stuff not work, you have like an extra little layer of protection. But as far as I'm aware, there's no natural antiperspirant. So you're gonna sweat. I mean, again, anecdotal, but personally I have got on with natural deodorants. They definitely don't work as well. I miss you aluminium. 
if somebody could just do an aluminium one that's not tested on animals, I'd really appreciate it, thanks. That being said, that doesn't exist yet. So what I found with natural deodorants, and I have pretty much tried all of them, is that they do work. It's better than doing nothing, but you do have to adjust your lifestyle a bit. So I used to wear the, oh my God, what's like the longest time that deodorant works? Is it like 74 hours or something? A long time. I would basically use that after a shower and then I'd top it up in the morning, but I wouldn't really have to. It could basically go shower to shower. It's a different story now. Now I have to wash my armpits in the shower, apply, I wash in the morning, apply, I wash before bed, apply. There's a lot of wash and apply. Like if I'm about to do sports, I'll probably wash and apply and then do it again afterwards. So it, there is an adjustment. It's not perfect and nothing's a silver bullet, but I think it's worth trying. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Let me know what your experience with natural deodorant has been in the comments. I genuinely really like to know because I do think even though it is sort of case by case basis, there are some that more people prefer over others. So it could help people looking into it. And thank you for watching. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. And if you like eco topics, you could subscribe too. That'd be really nice. Okay, see you next week. Bye.